they say life could be understood backwards. But it must be lived forward. That's right. Ricky? Ricky, where you at? What's wrong? How are you, Kelly? I'm good. Thank you thank for having me today. You know, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to talk to you and to talk about Fortress, Snipe Prize, and very excited. So my first question is, you, you pretty much do your own stunts, right? So how do you do to keep yourself not to getting hurt? <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't actually not get hurt. I always get hurt. <laughs> so, but yes, I do my own stunts. I love it. I love anything athletic and, you know, in real life, I'm always active and athletic and try to do all the challenges and I like to do hard things and I like new adventures. And so it kind of just made sense to um, do stunt work and just to be more authentic in a role, right? to actually embody that person, that character. So I really, really enjoyed it so much. And yes, there I always walk away with bruises or bleeding or something, because I mean, it's intense and I'm intense and I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> yeah, yes. And what do you like the most about your character, Kate? Um, Probably the athletic part, like the stunts, you know, the action, that whole thing. But actually as, um, as a character, it was really fun to play. She's a double agent. And so it's like living multiple lives in one, right? Like I got to kind of go back and forth between who am I today? And, you know, films aren't filmed in sequence. So I would get on set and be like, okay, which of her characters kind of am I, where am I at in the story? And like trying to make sure that I knew that where that was so that I could play that part of her personality the best. So it was a fun challenge. And um, I really, I love the character. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. And also I want to ask you, how was like work with being the same movie, like in work with like Bruce Willis, Jesse, Chad, all these wonderful actors. And how, how was that dynamic on set? They were so great and such professionals. You know, Chad, I think he's just, well, he, he played the bad guy, right? In this film, and I kind of think, generally think of him as not the bad guy. <laughs> and so it's really amazing. He's an amazing actor. And to see him kind of be in that role was was really good. And just a beautiful human, like such a good family man. Like it was really neat to see there need to be more men in the world like that. Like just so devoted to his family. And it was neat to see that in real life. Um, Jesse is always a fun time. <laughs> he's just, you know, like so professional. Everybody was so professional and so good at what they did. Um, but then, you know, off camera, Jesse was just, you know, he's a good time. He's fun, very engaging. Um, so Darius Blaine, amazing actor again, just this huge, um, powerful man and just a beautiful, beautiful heart. So I enjoy getting to know him some. Um, and then Bruce, of course, <laughs> that, that amazing, um, experience, you know, I know in retrospect now, I'm like, wow, it's even more of a privilege having been able to work with him on what was now, you know, one of his last films. And um, it was really a gift. And I think when you see people who are such like a big name and so famous and all of that, like if you go either way, you never know what they're gonna be like in real life. And he was just a beautiful soul, you know, very engaging and um, would, you know, want to talk to people and actually care about people. and. Um, so yeah, I think seeing just his beautiful soul was something that I loved most about that. That's amazing. And aside from the stunt work, what was like the, your biggest challenge on, on this movie? Um, oh, wow. So I had lots and lots of dialogue. Um, and these films, so this production company was very, very brave to film during this time because, you know, with all the new health protocols, there's hardly anybody filming because it was very complicated and so many new things that you're dealing with. And if anybody got sick at all, then it shuts down production. And so trying to um, cram so much into small, as, as short as possible so that you didn't end up with, you know, people just sitting there for weeks and weeks of quarantine. Um, so that made it very challenging um, with just all of those new dynamics. Um, but it also made you have to be so on point because what normally would have been four days of filming a fight scene, you get part of a day 
you know? So it just made everything like you had to come so ready. And, and I had mountains of dialogue. And so we'd walk in with all the stuff that I've memorized and then like, okay, that's not gonna fit. Move these three things, change these five, put this in. Okay, go. And I'm like, wait, I haven't even written it down yet. You know, and you're like wrapping your brain around that. So I think just um, how rapid, you know, the shoot was would made it challenging, but in a good way, I like challenges and um, you know, everybody owned it. We did good. So. Yeah. No, yes. And, and what did you learn about yourself playing this character, playing Kate, this double agent, and also like in this whole production? <laughs> um, I don't, I mean, I think just kind of digging deeper into what I knew I already was, you know, I can do hard things. Um, I'm an overcomer, you know, <laughs> like, and I think something that I loved about this um, too is it's kind of eye-opening when you see, you know, watching, I'm super empathetic. So I like get in the moment when I'm watching these scenes play out, I'm like literally living it. You know, like I'll start crying when I'm watching, you know, like actually, because I put myself in the place of this in real life, right? It's not just acting, it's like I'm experiencing this. And um, there were just so many mental things in this film with all the different characters where you're literally in that, quandary of conscience, conscience, you know, like, okay, well, do we like him? Do we love him or hate him? Who is he? Where's his heart? Like, what's going on, right? And so to watch these super dynamic actors, um, it just made me, like, work on all kinds of internal stuff, you know, because I was watching all of this and thinking through the dynamics of this in real life. So, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I learned a lot. <laughs> and, and, and what do you do, like, to take care of your mental and, and emotional, emotional health, you know, because especially like when you doing like this these movies like it's, it's a mix a lot of like emotions what do you do to just to release yourself out of that uh yeah so it's it's real like and i think i'm all about health and fitness and wellness and like i've like discipline is kind of a huge part of my life but like you mentioned super important and what a lot of people don't get into as far as health and wellness is mental mental health and emotional health um I've done lots and lots of things through the years. One thing recently that I've done that's actually really amazing um, is just speaking to yourself, like speaking the truth, right? I've always been like, you know, find the silver lining. I'm always, I'm like a professional lemonade maker. Like when you make lemonade out of lemons, I'm a professional lemonade maker. <laughs> but um, it's been really interesting. Um, I didn't really read it, but there's, someone was telling me about this book called Mirror Talk and you actually like sit there and speak to yourself in the mirror because your eyes don't lie, right? And if you tell yourself something about yourself, you look back at yourself and you're like, no, you don't actually, you know, whatever it is, right? And just being really authentic with yourself, I think makes a huge difference. And then literally speaking the truth about what you love about yourself and like what you know you're capable of. And um, I think when you say things out loud, like the power of positive confession is super important. Like it actually, changes how your brain thinks and like some of the mental pathways and all of that. So I think it's really important to state out loud, um, you know, positive things. And if you don't feel like you can authentically say those positive things as you work through that process, you actually start, you begin to realize, oh, well, here's how I get to that place. Here's how I'm going to get to that place where I can authentically say this about myself that's positive, you know? And so I think it's, it's a really good exercise and I really enjoyed the process. Yeah. It's putting into like, throwing to the universe so everything mm -hmm. is set <laughs> and and also aside from this movie are you working any new projects anything that you keep coming up aside from Frates Sniper Eye Sniper Eye and there are a couple action roles that I will possibly be doing too <laughs> um, but you know in this industry it's never anything until you're actually on set but yes speaking with a couple of production companies currently I'm excited about that which would also be action and that's my favorite genre so um, I would love to do that. Also, um, I have been working on humanitarian work all over the world. And so I have, I love to, what I call highlighting heroes, right? Like tell the story of someone who loves invisibly, like does the right thing when nobody's watching. And um, find those people and tell their story and then try to help them get um, partners or, you know, uh, money. You know, if they're making a difference with one penny, if you give them $10, it's astronomical how they can change the world. And when you have people who are just so pure-hearted, who are loving invisibly, 
their motivation is nothing but love. And so when you can find indigenous organizations, whether in the US or around the world, um, and partner with them, it's really world changing. And um, so I've been excited to be able to work in that field a lot. That's good. Is there is a, any specific one, uh, humanitarian work that you, you, you would like to highlight today? I mean, <laughs> honestly, there's so many. So many. Um, currently, though, I have some people that I'm partnered with in the Ukraine because um, that's obviously a huge crisis currently. And so, yeah, I mean, if anybody is interested in, you know, donating or knowing where to any of that, if you DM me, I can I can definitely send resources because anybody who has a heart to help out, I definitely know a lot of legitimate people. Um, and I like to work with people who are grassroots, you know, within their own countries and that kind of thing, or um, people that I know personally, so that. Uh, you know that you know where the money goes, right? You know that it goes to people, and it's not part of a big, huge organization that gets lost in the overhead and operating costs. But it actually goes right to you know the people it needs. So, anyway, um, yeah, I, I know amazing organizations all over the world. Actually, if you had a particular country and you're like Kelly, do you know someone in such and such? I'd be like, yes, I do. <laughs> Here's who you should talk to. But yes, that's um, great. That's amazing the work that you do. Your your super talent as well. Everybody can see that. So I just want to thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you. And let's find a humanitarian work in Brazil because I'm from Brazil and I know over there there are a lot of needs too. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, let's connect on that. I would love to. <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> thank you so much thank for your time. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Bye. Yeah, I'm coming back. Here we are, old friend, together again. Yeah, I'm coming back. The fortress, dying husk of its former self. I think the same about you. Yeah, I'm coming back. What do you want, Bozari? Today's game is 600 million in cold, hard cash. This again. It's gone. <laughs> You're saying I'm driven by revenge. I am. Rise from the ashes, act who are these people? They're just after money. The best way to hurt you is to destroy every little thing you love. Do your worst. Madris, would you please give my friend here a hand? Rise from the ashes. I can't hold it down. I must make you suffer. Let everyone go. Where are you? Rise from the ashes. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.